In this video, we are going to take a look at the seven easiest ways to upgrade your golf equipment in 2021. Uh, by the end of this video, you should have a really good collection of ideas, places where you can breathe new life into your golf gear in a way that's actually going to help you get more enjoyment out of the golf course and play better golf. So let's take a look at the seven easiest ways to upgrade your gear in 2021. If your golf clubs are starting to feel a little bit old, then one good way of breathing new life into them is to change the grips. So you can do this one of two ways. If your grips aren't too bad, if the condition of them isn't too bad, then give them a good clean using soap, hot soapy water. That can bring them back to life. If not, uh, then it's worth thinking about investing in a new set of grips this year. They, depending on how much you want to spend, they'll cost you anywhere between about five pounds per grip up to around about 10 pounds, maybe a little bit more per grip, which might seem like quite a big investment. But um, when you do it, actually, it really does make older clubs feel like new. So if you have a set that you love, that you don't want to change but that are feeling a little bit old then perhaps a new set of grips is the way to go. A lot of golfers and not just amateurs find their fairway woods quite hard to hit and that's because they're fairly intimidating when you look down on them at a dress, long shaft, the ball sat on the deck and it can feel really hard to find a perfect strike and it's been one of the key areas where the manufacturers have been able to build in new technologies to help players. So if you haven't upgraded your fairway wood for a while, it's well worth thinking about. The new technologies that are at play in the current modern day ones that you'll find on the market are designed to be much more forgiving than they used to be, help you flight the ball without you having to put too much effort into the swing, without you having to create too much club head speed to get the ball up and away. So if you haven't upgraded your fairway wood for a while, this is one well worth considering. Every time you hit a bunker shot, it's like sandblasting the face of your wedge and the, that rough face, those sharp grooves will become degraded slowly over time and it will reduce the amount of spin you're able to achieve, both in terms of, you know, the, those checking shots you hit into the green, but also the ball flight will change as well. So if you want maximum control in the short game, it does make sense to upgrade your lob wedge, perhaps a little bit sooner than you might upgrade other golf clubs in your set. If you want to do it properly, go through a full thorough custom fitting, find exactly the right sole configuration for you. It can really help your ball striking. But either way, if you put a new lob wedge in the bag, you will get a little bit more spin control when you're playing into the greens. Okay, so the next one on my list relates to your golf shoes. And the first thing I'd suggest you do here is take a look at all the golf shoes you've got at home and think to yourself, are there any that I just can't see myself wearing again? If so, just get rid of them. Create some space and then with the ones that are left over, clean them and replace any soft spikes that need to be replaced. And then once you've done that, take a look at what you've got and then identify, are there any gaps? Do you need something that you could wear on really hot uh, summer's days when it's really firm underfoot? Do you need something to help you in weather conditions? Do you want something that's spikeless that you can wear in the car and then straight out onto the golf course? Because if you do it that way, you'll make a smarter choice about which golf shoes to buy at the start of the golf season. Do you have a specific model of golf ball that you use every time you go and play golf? If not, then it might well be worth considering because every golf ball is designed to do something slightly different, whether that's fly slightly higher or lower, spin more or less, provide more feel around the greens, whatever it is, there'll be a golf ball out there that will be exactly what you're looking for. So you need to firstly think about what you need from your golf ball, identify which model it is that provides that. And then I would suggest you invest in a, in a couple of dozen just to start you off with the season so that you've got um, the same golf ball to use every time you go and play, at least for the first couple of months. And then see, does that golf ball and that consistency make a difference to your performance? If it does, then you'll know you've got the right golf ball for you. Now, I appreciate most of you watching this will have a distance measuring device of one sort or another. And if you have one that you're really pleased with and that you think works really well, please do leave some comments below. We'd love to hear what you have to say and share that information around because a good distance measuring device should teach you an awful lot about your own game. You should have a very good idea about how far you hit every club in the bag while you're out competing for real, if you have a good one. If you feel like yours is a little less reliable and that it's not providing you with the information that you need, now is the time to think about upgrading because this year's uh, distance measuring devices are packed full of features and they are just so easy to use. So that combination of lots of information along with just being easy to access it could make a big difference to you when you're gathering information out on the golf course. One of the easiest and most effective equipment upgrades you can make is to change your putter grip. Now, there's a couple of things to think about here. What state is your grip in? 
If it's not in a great condition, then give it a clean. And if it then still feels old, then replace it. Either that or think about how well you putt. If you're not happy with how you're getting on on the greens, then changing the grip altogether and going for something that's slightly thicker or slightly thinner might help your hands work in a slightly different way in the stroke, introducing a new feeling, introducing a bit more confidence into your putting. You never know, you might hold a few more putts with an old putter this year just by changing the grip. So there you have it, that's my list of seven easy golf gear upgrades for 2021. Do you think I'm missing anything? Am I missing a trick? Is there something really simple that people can do that can really help them with their golf equipment? Leave some comments, let us know. I'd be really interested to hear your thoughts. But that's all for now. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.